Hey guys, Daniel with All About Food here. <clears throat> I decided to do this video last minute, so I've already got everything in this pot. Uh, I just got done canning tomatoes, and I had a bunch of tomato peels left, and I also had some uh, chunked up pieces of tomato left that wouldn't fit in the rest of the jar. Um, fill up it wouldn't fill up a whole jar so I took all those put those in the bottom of this I've got a couple bell peppers that I had in the refrigerator that I made that I needed to use so I cut them up <clears throat> put them in here had a few carrots that needed use so I cut them up put them in here I had an onion cut it up it needed used I had just a few pieces of uh, broccoli florets left that needed to be used and some other small sweet peppers that I had that needed to be used. And then I also went out to the herb garden and cut a couple fresh things of rosemary and some fresh basil. Uh, I've also got uh, some cloves of garlic in here somewhere. But um, I don't like to let stuff go to waste. So all this stuff needed used up. So I figured why not make some vegetable broth. Um, what I'll do is I'll fill this up with water and um, I'll just put it on the stove, let it come up to a simmer, and I'll let it simmer for probably two or three hours. And then after it's simmered for two or three hours, I'm going to um, strain all this out real good, and then I will can my broth. Um, it's great for soup starters and everything, and then um, your leftover vegetables isn't going to waste because you're using them to make your broth, and um, you'll get quite a bit of broth out of this. Now, I don't add salt whenever I do my broth just because I figure when you are using this for soups and stuff, you're going to season your soup, so you'll add salt at that time. And um, there's recipes out there that says, you know, to use like celery and your carrots and onion and garlic to make your um, broth. But I use all different kinds of things. Uh, last time I had cabbage that needed used up, so I put some cabbage in with my vegetables that needed used up. To me, there's no wrong or right way to make broth. Uh, now, of course, you know, if your vegetables have already went bad, I wouldn't use them. But when they are just starting, you know, you know they need use, but they're not bad yet. Why not just cut them up and put them in a big stock pot and make some vegetable broth to can. And then you've got soup starter and vegetable broth for different things throughout the winter. Um, and I forgot to add, I also did have some radishes, a pack of radishes that um, we had just got at the store. And I cut the top green leaves off of the radishes, washed them real well, and they're down in here, I think, under the tomatoes somewhere. Like I said, I would have shown this step-by-step, -step, everything that I put in here one at a time, but it's like 20 till midnight, just got done canning tomatoes, threw this together real quick and thought, well, I'll shoot a video um, real fast to, to talk about this and tell you what all I put in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this on the stove. I'm going to let it boil for about, well, simmer for about three hours or so. Um, I'm a night owl, so I'm going to be up late anyway. So once I get this done, we'll come back and we'll get this jarred up and canned. Hey guys, um, we have got our vegetable broth um, all boiled down and I've strained it out here you can see it's got a real good collar I tasted it and it actually tastes really good so what we're going to do next is we are going to fill our jars up with the vegetable broth I'm just going to continue filling all these all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish. I'm going to fill all my jars, um, leave an inch of headspace, and I'll be back as soon as we get these in the canner. Hey 
guys, we've been, we put our um, nine pints in the pressure cooker. We brought this up to steam, let it steam for 10 minutes to vent. Now we're going to place our 10 pound weight on top of here. As soon as that weight starts to jiggle, we're going to set the timer for 25 minutes. So it's 25 minutes on vegetable broth if you're canning pints and it's going to be 35 minutes if you're canning quarts. We'll be back when it's done. Okay, so we let our um, vegetable broth process for 25 minutes. Once the 25 minutes was up, we just turned our canner off, let it cool down, and let all the pressure release, and um, took our vegetable broth out, and this is what we got. Ended up getting nine pints. Hope y'all have a great day.